it's day 12 of what we sent to the expansion pack. Hello, Ed. Hi. Um, so, we are going towards the fortress. We're going to have an explore. As we saw yesterday, uh, we didn't explore the fortress because Ed wasn't here. Now that Ed is here, we can uh, continue on our, uh, our ramblings. Uh, all these uh, guns on the wall. This one is made by Skoda. So just looking at the 100 banknote, and remember yesterday the formula T equals WB over M squared. Ed is entirely 100% sure of what it means. Well, no, we <laughs> think it's, it's demonstrating uh, the relationship between the power and Tesla is sort of um, defined, which is Weber's per meter squared. Um, if you compare that to the equation X equals MA, for example, um, F, it would be Newtons equals uh, kilograms times meters per second squared. Uh, so here we have Tesla's equals Weber's over meters squared. Thanks. It's okay. There's a dog. Looking down towards the river Danube. Lots of, there's lots of water. This is the remains of um, Turkish drinking fountains, one of the few remaining Turkish um, parts of the city of Belgrade. Air airplanes. We're now going to take a free walking tour. I think obviously we have Partisan Football Club. Along with Partisan, we have Red Star. These are two big clubs. There is a mosque. A flag mosque. <laughs> by Danny and Amy. We just had a massive vow in which Danny and Amy <laughs> has decided to leave the group. Uh, although, I'm going to say bye on good terms. Um, we're just here in the bus station now, but we're looking for the bus to go to Nice tomorrow. Uh, that's me. Uh, scientific and sort of mathematical physics tomorrow, so I'm going to go and check out the nuclear test in the museum. I uh, guess the police live here now. We come back again to the train station uh, just to show Ed, who uh, is going to take some photos. Um, yeah, still some people hanging around, but it's weird. It's just knocked down, and those toilets over there are not exactly the cleanest. They weren't seven years ago. Just no, like eight years ago. What's going on here? Yeah. Interesting looking building. This is the National Bank of Serbia. Is it the Tesla Museum? We stand outside the Hotel Moskva, which is one of the original uh, hotels in the city. Very impressive yellow brick and kind of green tiling around it. I'm sure it's expensive to stay here. Make more expensive than Hostel Home Sweet Home. 
we've come to the Little Bay restaurant for some dinner or we convened after our falling out early. Uh, earlier, we <laughs> went to the art museum. I don't know, it's the museum, as you saw. Um, so, yeah, anyway, let's let's um, request and serve. Oh, no! <laughs> so, as you just saw, I was walking the garden and the guy came to uh, serve us, but maybe later, maybe he can pull the cord. Maybe when we pay. Maybe. Yeah. So, take two. Hopefully, the man doesn't appear. I'm going to ring the silent bell to order more drink. Wait for it. Hmm. Where are we going, Matt? Uh, just uh, anywhere where we can find a splav that's open. A splav is a boat um, where you can get some drinks, a bit like a bar, uh, on the river uh, down here. So let's check it out. Down by the river, um, here are some splavs, but there's no uh, other people down here. No kind of bars, parties, anything going on. It's a bit sad. But maybe we're just a bit too early for the party. Here's a End. It's pretty dead, pretty quiet. Okay, it's nearly the end of day 12. I'm probably going to film one more clip uh, after, but it's quite quiet and secluded here, so I'll talk a little bit about the walking tour that we went on today. Uh, I kind of felt it like slightly uh, didn't really address some of the kind of maybe darker side of more modern Serbian history, which, um, I mean, I think these things are things that over time you talk about and you more uh, under, understand and comprehend kind of a bit better. But um, yeah, certainly some of the stuff about kind of Kosovo in Serbia and kind of talking about like Slobodan Milosevic is kind of a bit, I don't know, maybe a slightly difficult subject. Um, but we, uh, <laughs> we, uh, um, we heard a kind of a happy story uh, about the uh, when the NATO bombings um, happened in Belgrade, how lots of people stood on a bridge and therefore there was no bombing. But I kind of feel like that, that kind of misses some of the point of um, how the kind of the, there was like genocide going on at the time, and probably maybe maybe the NATO bombing was justified in some respect. Um, but anyway, I suppose this is, these are difficult things to talk about, so maybe we shouldn't talk about them uh, in depth on a walking tour, a free walking tour of Belgrade. Um, but yeah, it was maybe a sign that um, Serbia is probably like maybe struggling to come to terms with some of the most recent history, which uh, I'm not saying that that's, that's a bad thing, it'll probably come over time. Um, but yeah, there we go, that's my thoughts. Heading back to the hostel now at the end of day 12. Um, guys, how would we say the day's gone? Yeah, it's gone well. Yeah, yeah. yeah very well. The highlight was the Tesla Museum, where we saw a live demonstration of uh, like parking for a Tesla coil. Yeah. Like electricity jumping in. Yeah, it's really good. Good stuff. So, um, now, kind of get some sleep, we're going to get a, a, take an early bus to Nis, probably about, I don't know, maybe 20 to 8, 10 to 8, something like that. Um, we're going to head down to the bus station, which is just there, and head to our next place, which is uh, the city of Nis, which is the third largest city in the country of Serbia. 
but more than that in tomorrow's episode so stay tuned and join us again for next episode of Wildebeest on tour the expansion pack <laughs>